Hey, what's going on? And welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yuka and I just got back from Trader Joe's and I always find food hauls super useful just so I can get an idea of new things to cook or what people are buying or yeah, just to get some inspiration. So I thought that I would share with you guys what I bought, why I bought it and what I'm planning to cook with it. Hopefully to kind of give you guys a little bit of inspiration, maybe some ideas of some foods that you guys want to cook and then maybe I can show you guys how to make it. We're still figuring out how this channel is gonna flow. So that was just my idea for today. So let's just get started. Okay, starting with bread. So I typically don't really eat that much bread on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't really care for it, but that doesn't mean I don't love like muffins and cupcakes or, but just like casual toast or, you know, sandwiches and things like that. It's not really something that I crave often, but this week, or specifically today, I was craving a pastrami sandwich. So that's the reason why I bought this bread. And the reason why I bought this bread is because it's flourless sprouted grain bread. So when I buy things, I always like to look in the ingredient list, see what's actually in the food. So a lot of times you'll see bread that says sprouted grain and you look in the ingredients and then it's, it's actually not sprouted grain, it still says whole wheat flour. So you really gotta check. And so this brand, Ezekiel, is specifically of the first ingredients are organic sprouted wheat, sprouted barley, and etc. So I know exactly what's actually in this bread compared to other brands that will have a ton of different additives in there. So what this says is our exclusive sprouting process not only increases vitamins, but it also causes a natural change that allows the proteins and carbohydrates to be assimilated by the body more efficiently. You know, you get a lot more fiber in this and a lot more nutrients. So, so this will be the bread that I use for those sandwiches. Next, some bananas. So I like to use bananas in my, my smoothies. So what I like to do is I like to let these sit out until they're like pretty brown, you know what I mean? Because then they get sweeter and then I just break them in half and throw them in the freezer. And then they're just so quick and easy to just throw in a smoothie gives it a little bit more of a creaminess and then also like that, it, a different consistency because it's frozen. So highly recommend just getting some bananas for that, for that reason. Or if you wanna just eat some bananas. Potassium. Next, I got some of these teeny tiny avocados from Trader Joe's. So what I like about these is you ever like cut an avocado that's massive and then you slice it in half and then you put it in the fridge and then you forget about it. And then by the time you, you know, you find it again, it's like completely rotten or brown. What's great about these tiny ones is that I think these are a good size for one serving. So I like to throw these in my smoothies. I will I like to add these in like wraps or sandwiches or on top of some sort of like a chipotle bowl or something like that. Or making guacamole, whatever. You can, avocados are super versatile. So they're just a really great healthy source of protein, or sorry, a source of a healthy fat. Next, I just got some eggs, nothing special here, just good old eggs for like scrambled eggs, or if I wanna put this on top of anything to just, just to add a little bit more protein to the meals, eggs are always great to have on hand. Okay, next, some dates. I used to make these, I used to call them like energy balls, <laughs> and what they were made out of was these dates, and then I would add like hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, oatmeal, just like a bunch of different like packed health foods. And then I would make them into these little balls and then they would just be a super easy snack, kind of like those uh, RX bars, kind of similar flavor I would I, or consistency, but I haven't made those for a while. And the reason why I got these was because I was thinking about making some sort of like flat brownie type style of the exact same thing. So. We'll make a video of that and see how it turns out. Also, a lot of people do like to add these to their smoothies. I try to keep my smoothies as low on sugar as possible. And um, these actually do contain a lot of sugar. So it's 27 grams of sugar in two to three days. So it is quite a bit of sugar in to add into your smoothie. So I just prefer not to, but totally up to you, whatever you wanna do. Next, strawberries. So I just love to have fresh fruit on hand. So I'm obsessed with strawberry ice cream. I mean, just ice cream in general, but my craving right now is strawberry ice cream. So because I'm doing the 30 day challenge, I found a really good alternative for strawberry ice cream. I mean, obviously it's not the same because it's not ice cream, but if you have any craving for ice cream, it's kind of, it kind of helps to just curb your appetite or kind of fulfill those, those cravings at the time. So I like to slice up some strawberries, put them in a bowl, add some milk and then some honey. And it's just, it just tastes amazing and it's you know super easy to make, three ingredients, and it just kind of helped curb that uh, strawberry ice cream craving that I have pretty often. 
Next, just some fresh produce. So this week I'm planning to make Greek chicken souvlaki. And so I wanted to make like a Greek salad. And so I got myself a red onion, some lettuce, cut some cucumbers for the Greek salad. Also, I wanted to make another juice. So cucumbers are great for juices. And honestly, I just love Persian cucumbers. They're very similar to Japanese cucumbers. And so they're a little bit more crunchy and they don't have as high of a water content than like a typical English cucumber. And I grew up eating Japanese cucumbers. So these are amazing. So I usually just get like the regular dolmas, but they were out. So this one is a quinoa stuffed dolma. And so I'm assuming that it probably has the same flavor, but we'll find out if they're just as good or not. And then I've never actually tried this, but it's a Greek style eggplant with tomatoes and onions. And because I'm having the Greek food this week, I decided to try this out. And then cabbage. I just, I think cabbage is really great to have on hand. So you can add it to like stir fries. You can add it to instant noodles. You can add it to anything to kind of bulk up a meal and get some extra fiber and, and greens in your meal. Some good old coconut water. So I stocked up on these because the last time I was there it was sold out and then I had to pay $5 for like a different brand of coconut water when these are only like $2.99. So super great deal. They're not from Concentrate. Great source of electrolytes and hydration, uh, potassium, and yeah, so. Okay, protein. So I did get a few different sources of protein. So one source of protein that I really love is the smoked turkey breast. I'm not a huge fan of deli meat, but I don't know, something about this Trader Joe's turkey breast is it's just so good and I like to just buy this for like a quick snack so I mean it might seem a little weird but I'll literally just like grab a few pieces and eat it because if you're like not that hungry but you want some sort of fuel or protein um, this is really great because it is 11 grams of protein for four slices so like in a sitting I'd probably eat like three or four of these just plain by itself but you can always spread the hummus on the turkey throw a carrot in there and like wrap it up and eat it like a little stick and that's also added protein so one of my one of my things that I always buy when I go to Trader Joe's and then next so like I said I was craving pastrami sandwiches so I bought this it's not my favorite type of pastrami but it's all they had and I didn't want to go anywhere else so it's just uh, uncured pastrami and when you look at the ingredients you know it's just beef water vinegar salt garlic powder honey and celery powder and black pepper. So yeah, I mean, it's as natural as I can possibly find, right? Next, this is one of my newer favorite sources of protein. It's called tempeh. And it basically what it is, it's a vegan protein made from soybeans, rice, barley, and millet. And it's organic. And you know, this is really great to add in like stir fries or if you wanna make some sort of like Buddha bowl or something like that. Okay, so this whole container is 51 grams of protein, which is a lot. I mean, I don't think I can eat this whole thing in one sitting, but so when I made pad thai, I added this in there. And then I also make this like, it's like this spicy noodle salad and it's so good, but I always add tempeh to that too. When I first ate it, I wasn't like, a huge fan of it but after I kept eating it I kind of got used to it started craving it but it's like this like grainy tofu ish type of thing so we'll make some recipes with this to show you guys like what I cook with it and then this is always just like really nice to have on hand it's just a frozen bag of chicken thighs and so like whenever I'm gonna make food I'll just like pull a few out rather than having fresh chicken because then you have to kind of cook it all right away or you have to freeze it this is kind of already frozen so just a great, great option. And lastly from Trader Joe's, yeah, just this bag of jasmine rice. Um, I love these tortillas. They're, they're handmade. They're not the same texture as the tortillas that you would buy from like Safeway or something like that. But honestly, I just like to warm these up and eat them plain. They're so good, but you can always make like a quesadilla and add some cheese to this. And man, these are, these, this is some good stuff. And then just some like home products. So I just got some melatonin. This one's really good. I feel like it does work. It's only three milligrams. Uh, I, I don't take melatonin every day, but if I'm having trouble sleeping because of stress or anything like that, you know, I'll pop like one or two of these and you know, they always, they definitely help with getting me drowsy. And then I just got this oatmeal and honey soap, it's just bars of soap, super cheap. I can't remember how much it is on the top of my head, but my mom used to buy this, so I just, you know, got on the train for that. And while I was out, I went to Sprouts also and I just stocked up on some toothpaste. So this is Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. And the reason why I like to use this specific toothpaste is because 
it is fluoride free. And the reason why I like Dr. Bronner's is because you'll find other fluoride free brands out there that will contain sulfates. And sulfates is actually a chemical that is used as like a sudding agent. So sulfates is in your shampoo, sulfates is also in your like hand soap, and then also like dish soap. And so it's, it's actually toxic to the body. So like if you're, you know, brushing your teeth with it, it's definitely not good to be ingesting in your mouth. So that's why I really like this. It's 70% organic ingredients and yeah, it might not sud up as much as like your crust toothpaste, but, but a little healthier option I feel like. And I just got, so I'm currently using the peppermint one, but I thought I would just try the spearmint one and see what I like best. And then, uh, what is this, collagen. So I just ran out of collagen. I was using the Vital Proteins. I do really like that brand, but it's not, like I don't love it. And I'm still trying to find a brand that I really, really like. So. This was on sale and the reason why I chose this brand specifically is because so when you're getting collagen you you always want to look where the source of the collagen is coming from so you know there's marine there's you know grass-fed beef and then there's like regular beef so from what I've read you do want to stay away from the marine that use marine collagen because those are just you know you don't know what kind of fish or quality of fish that they're using and getting the collagen from so what you wanna get is you wanna get a brand that comes from bovine collagen. And then also you wanna make sure that it limits the types of collagen. So this one only has type one and type three, but there's some brands that have like three different, three or five different kinds. And from that, you're not really getting like one source of protein. So I've read that it's best to find one that has like one or two. And then on top of that, what, what really stood out to me was that this brand actually has probiotics in it. So there's 10 grams of probiotics in one serving, 20 grams of collagen and 18 grams of protein per one scoop. So I you know, use one scoop of these every day with my coffee. So just starting the morning off with that, I think is, is just great. Always anything that I can do that will give me some extra probiotics in my day, like I'm with it. And there's also a ton of different amino acids. There are some brands of collagen that don't really dissolve well. I, I typically like will put collagen in either my coffee or a smoothie because then it, it does dissolve well but if you like some people put it in water and I'm not really into that I don't really think the the flavor of it is really great but if you add it to your coffee or smoothies you honestly can't really taste it especially if it's unflavored so yeah no added hormones no antibiotics it's grass-fed and 1.5 billion CFU probiotics so we'll try it out We'll see how it goes, um, and I'll and I'll keep you guys updated with with if I like it or if I don't like it, if I recommend it or if I don't recommend it. We'll find out together. All right, so that concludes the food haul. If you like this video, then go ahead and like it, share, subscribe. I am going to be posting once a week. I don't know what the what the best time is to post, so we're still figuring this out, but we're figuring it out together. And uh, yeah, so uh, thanks for being here, and look forward to seeing you next time.